Good morning. Uh, thanks for being here this first session, first day. So I'd like to talk about femtosecond uh, uh, laser-assisted cataract surgery. What does it do? It does a scanning of the whole anterior segment, fixes the CCC either to the uh, pupil or to the capsular bag. So we like to fix it to the capsular bag because then you get perfect centration of the IOL. It softens the lens and cuts it up. How much you want softening can be predetermined depending on the intensity or the density of the cataract and your uh, predetermined choice that you would like to have. It can do absolutely brilliant LRIs. So when you have astigmatism, which is pretty low, about one to two diopters astigmatism, these LRIs work brilliantly. Corneal incisions, probably the least useful of the lot, can be also done so you get precisely placed, perfectly designed corneal incisions too. So the question now is, is it useful? Does it add value to the patient and does it add value to the doctor and to his practice? Does it, a lot of have the question that does it produce, reduce surgeon skills? So would you forget about how do you do CCEC? Would you chop, become a poor surgeon when you're chopping? Well, I'll come back to it and give you another example later as I go along. Okay. Uh, can we? You were going fine, weren't we? Can I? Yeah. So, and another question is a lot of people feel that it will not work on a hard cataract. It doesn't work? No, it does work, actually. And the other one is, in a soft cataract, you don't need it. So the, this is the doubts in the, the person's mind. Okay, let's hope this video plays in sequence. Can you play the, both the videos? Well, the next one also. Uh, you can pause the next one. Second one, pause it, please. Let's, uh, the, there's a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, keep, keep playing this. Now, we'll, when it comes together, we'll play both together. So I'll just try to show you, this is the same patient, same grade of cataract, two eyes, one eye was done, yeah. Um, you can start now, the other, other one also. So we just see what happens. This is a hard brown cataract, you would think that the laser would not penetrate. Say, so it has done a beautiful rexus. Now you'll find, that I'm ready to chop a little earlier. The first time I chop, you'll see bubbles coming out from inside. Where did the bubbles come from? They came in from inside the cataract. That's where the laser had penetrated even a dense brown cataract. Yes, it may not have broken up the posterior plate completely, but it has penetrated enough that it has softened the cataract. Now you'll see as you proceed, you see that the chopping on the right, on the left side is faster and the pieces are out while I'm still struggling on the other side where I've not done this, done the plaques. You'll find by the time I'm through with the flax, the other cataract is only half done. It's not just the time. That means I've used 50% phaco energy, that's lesser. I've made the surgery safer for the patient. I've made it less stressful to the surgeon. So all of that put together with a perfectly centered uh, rexus makes it a game changer. Yes, it does have cost. It may not be uh, financially viable in every practice. Most practices which have this may not be making profit out of this. But end of the day, you're, you're going to give excellent results day in and day out. If I were given a choice of having this machine and the overheads were lower, I would do this for every single patient, not just the patients who pay for it or the patients who I feel need for it and I keep pushing it on them. We are out and there is still half the cataract is left over. So by the time the cataract is out on the non-flag side, the IOL has been implanted and the surgeon has gone back home, including the patient. So proof of the pie is in the eating. That's the cornea in the flax the next morning, and that's the cornea in the non-flax next morning. Okay, does it matter? In three or four days, this cornea also will become clear. But that cornea has lost endothelium. Did it, does it have the ability to lose endothelium and keep functioning for another couple of decades? Or is he or she going to decompensate two decades uh, later? Because now we have people living past 90. You do the surgery at 60 and you start doing DMEX and DSEX at that particular point of time. So this is the answer to the question. Yes, it is absolutely brilliant. It is fantastic. The only problem is expensive. So we all start downplaying it, calling it technology that uh, downplays the surgeon's skill. Now, we have just dialed back 10, 15 years. Uh, ABS brake on a car was ultimate. 
Now, ABS comes on scooters. EBD comes on motorbikes. You've got traction control on scooters. So that made it sim safer, simpler, and better, and we all accept that. The same technology comes to cataract, you suddenly become macho. I don't want to do this because this is now you know, being a pussycat. I would do macho. If you're really macho, give up the soft, uh, the uh, coal FACO, give up all these uh, chamber stability features, go back to the dinosaur FACO machines of 20 years, 30 years ago, and I challenge you to do FACO massification. So you want technology when it suits you, and you don't want technology when it doesn't suit you. So technology suits everybody. It's only a question of ability to upgrade. And the problem here is the cost. So that's the only issue, otherwise it's fantastic. Uh, we so have about five minutes more for the next talk, so. Two minutes or five minutes? Okay, five minutes left for the IC, so yeah. Oh yeah, so show the, yeah. So I can just show this, I won't show this video. This is an ICL in place, and we have done a flax through that. And this is just another flax thing, let's forget it, let's keep going. So it's invaluable and subluxated in PPC cataracts. It gives you, it uses less energy, less turbulence, uses less fluid, less time. And there are enough number of studies done world over which shows that flax scores superior to normal cataract surgery. Famous last words, when eye oils came in, people said you can't put eye oil into the human eye. And when flax, I mean, FACO came in, they said FACO is no better than ECC after six months. And people keep saying, comparing SICS and FACO. Every technology has a role to play. One cannot downplay any technology. And we have to upgrade and keep going and give the best to our patients. Thank you.